Hey group! Alright, uh, my last live I think was a little aggressive, but uh, I just want you guys to know that it is so incredibly valuable right now that you guys get your goals figured out. You gotta know what you want. I want you to think of it like um, if you were to go on a trip, right? Uh, how would you know how to get there? or which direction to even go if you had no destination in mind, right? Like that's the importance of goals, to know what you want. Because once you know what you want, like half the battle is just knowing what you want. Because um, I can say with confidence that uh, it doesn't matter where you are in life. It doesn't matter what you do after that, right? In all fairness, it doesn't. You write down your goal and... Uh, your mind, your subconscious is automatically looking for it, right? You have that goal in your forefront. Um, your mind, again, subconsciously or consciously is looking for ways on attaining that goal. Uh, your mind is like, it's the world's greatest machine. Um, but when you know how to control it, it's, uh, it's a matter of being able to ask it a question, a great question, and it will have to come up with an answer. Um, one thing that I love to do is whenever something like a mistake happens or a failure happens or whatever, something negative or what looks like is negative happens, um, and it can be completely negative at the time, um, is just to catch yourself and say, and to, to ask yourself this question is, um, what's great about this? And automatically you're going to be like, there's nothing great about this, you moron. But then you force yourself to answer it. You say, no, I, I know the logical reason or the, the logical answer is no, but if I had to choose something, what would it be? Right? So it's just, it's training your mind to think differently. Um, but anyways, it's like, it's super important to figure out what you want because if you don't know what you want i'm sorry but nothing is going to help you it just it just isn't so um there's a there's a great book on this uh by john c maxwell called uh intentional living i think that's that's what it's called it's living living intentionally or intentional living one of those two um, he's actually just come out with another book, uh, this, uh, 2019, and it's along the same, the same principles. But anyways, um, I had the opportunity, I've seen John Maxwell at conferences, at two conferences now, and, uh, both times were phenomenal lessons to learn. Um, so I wanted to go over a couple basics on what he talked about, um, at the 10X Growth Con from last year and hopefully um, you guys can take it and apply it with uh, what we got coming up. So I want to talk about the rule of five. The rule of five is uh, knowing what you want, having the right tool, staying focused so you don't get distract distracted, be consistent, and stay with it until you're finished, right? Uh, write that down. Know what you want. These are your goals. Your goals, your dreams, your aspirations. So what do you want, right? I'm asking you that question. You have an answer that's in your head somewhere. Now would be a good time to just write that down. What do you want? I don't care if it's one word. Write it. Okay? Number two. Have the right tool. So this is... Uh, if you looked at the law of destination document, this would be what your uh, uh, what is it? 
vehicle would be what your vehicle is, right? Have the right tool. So, uh, for instance, if you want it to, say, go to California, well, something that you're going to need is an actual vehicle on how to get there. You're going to take a car, you're going to take a plane, a bus, um, hitchhike. What are you going to do? What's going to get you there the fastest, right? That would be um, the question that I'd be answering is, is not just how can I get there, but how can I get there quickly, right? Um, number three, stay focused. Don't get distracted. Now, number three is key once you figured out number one, right? So no, number one, this one here, is the big in for, for all of these. Because if you don't know what you want, then you don't know what kind of tool you need, and you're not going to stay focused because you don't know what you want, so you're going to kind of look everywhere on and say, like, what do I want? Or maybe you won't even ask that. You'll just kind of go about life, right? So staying focused. Now, um, with some of, the, some of the goals that you've set, um, whether, you know, it's health-related, uh, you know, spiritual, uh, personal, professional, whatever, any type of goals, like, these will all follow it. So, um, when it comes to, say, uh, exercise, right, staying focused, well, maybe that is just a matter of saying, okay, well, there's seven days in a week, uh, I can... You know, I have Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays open where I can, you know, get at my, um, get my training in. Three days a week, that's, that's fine. Three days a week, okay, block off, say, an hour, three days a week. And uh, those, those are the times where you are going to stay focused, right? Um, if you want to... If, say, like, what I do when I'm running, uh, one of the things that I do is I, I, I'll take a picture of when I'm done running just to post it as, like, yeah, this is, this is what I want to do because I want to uh, hold myself accountable <clears throat> and say, like, yeah, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Um, but other than that, don't just go to the gym and then just slack off, right? When you're at the gym, have at it, Right? Maybe you got to, maybe one of your, uh, your vehicles or maybe for number two, the right tool, um, for the gym is maybe you need a personal trainer, right? Maybe, maybe you don't necessarily need a trainer, but maybe you just need a program, right? Maybe, maybe, um, uh, maybe it's more nutrition based and maybe you need to speak to a nutritionist, Right? Um, so these are the things that coincide with each other. And then, you know, you want to stay focused. You don't want to di get distracted when you're doing, when you're doing that. So you can, you can even schedule in times where, um, you know, you sit down and you kind of take a look at, at your habits and you can say, okay, well, I know generally that, uh, you know, I want to be able, I want to have like an hour free to just, uh, you know, go on Facebook, watch Netflix, uh, read a book, chill out, um, just goof off. I want, I want an hour where I can be distracted. I, I just want to do mindless stuff or maybe it's, maybe it's two hours, right? Well, that's fine. Schedule it in. But when you're concentrating on the things that you want to get done, you want to stay focused. So just have that in mind. Uh, number four, be consistent. Uh, number three and number four are very closely related, I'd say. But again, once you know what you want, which goes back to the goals, 
which literally you can write down in like 30 seconds because you know what you want. You already know what you want. It's in there. You just haven't written it down. So take those 30 seconds to just say, this is what I want. Bingo. Uh, so being consistent, okay? This might take a matter, this might take, take some trial and error, right? So um, I highly, highly recommend that in a couple months from now, go back to this process and say, okay, uh, my goal is, I don't know, let's say my goal is to lose 20 pounds, okay? Well, my, I have a goal of losing 10 pounds, let's, let's use that. I have a goal of losing 10 pounds uh, when it comes time to racing season, right? So, uh, have the right tools? Well, um, I need to keep up my, my um, exercise regimen. Uh, I need to cut out certain things in my, uh, for nutrition, I need to cut out certain things, uh, you know, focus on, you know, all the good stuff and whatnot. Maybe, maybe I should sit down with a nutritionist again, maybe, but in a couple months, if I'm still, you know, just as heavy or I'm not, it doesn't look like I'm going to reach my goal in time. Well, then I'll have to sit down and say, okay, well, do I have the right tool? right? Maybe I need another tool or maybe I just need to cut one thing out or make some slight adjustments, right? Uh, and then staying focused on it. Have I been staying focused? Have, have I been going to the gym regularly? Have I been eating right regularly? Uh, have I been consistent, right? Am I, do I have the right tool? I just haven't been consistent with it, right? What's, what's the issue here that's not giving me what I want? That's, you know, it's a, it's a game plan that you're trying to review. So um, I would say, you know, every, every month, if you really want to get diligent about this, like every month you should be saying, okay, is this, am I on the right track, right? Um, when you're running, it's easy because you can just see, okay, these are the miles I'm running and, and, uh, am I getting better or am I getting worse? Right. Uh, number five is stay with it until you're finished. Right. So, uh, I don't want you to get to the end of the six weeks and say, okay, um, my goal is to lose 10 pounds and I've lost, I've gained two pounds. Shit, I've gained two pounds and I wanted to lose 10 pounds. Well, I'm just going to quit. No. What you're going to do is you are going to say, just like we talked about a minute ago, right? Okay, what's going on here? Because obviously there's something, something in this recipe that isn't working, right? So trial and error, what, what can I add or what can I take away um, that's going to give me more of the result I want, right? Maybe at the end of six weeks, maybe you lose a pound. Okay, well, if your goal is to lose a pound, if your goal is to lose at least 10 pounds this year, well, if you lose a pound a month, you're going to surpass that. So, uh, awesome. So, um, yeah, that's the rule of five for uh, intentional living. But again, it all starts with knowing what you want. That is why goals are so vital, right? If you, if, let's say that you have so many things that you want to do. All right, let's go the complete opposite spectrum. You have like 50 things that you just absolutely want to do, right? Um, you definitely, definitely need to sit down, take 15 or 20 minutes, and just sit down and write all those out. Write every single thing that you can think of that you want to do. Uh, doesn't even have to be in this year. Like, Anything you want to do in your lifetime, write that all down, 
right? And then you have a book of, or a list of everything you want to do. And then, you know, maybe you say, okay, well, uh, I got 50 things I want to do. This year, let's say I want to tackle three of those. Okay, well, what three do you want to tackle? Boom, boom, boom. All right, these are my 2020 goals right here. And uh, then we'll come up with a game plan for that, right? But again, it all starts with knowing what you want, right? And if you don't know what you want, uh, A, you should take a look at that document because that'll ask you a hell of a lot of questions for like an overall uh, whole life plan. Um, but if you just want to figure out your goals when it comes to like health and fitness, then sit down and kind of think, okay, well, what is it that I want to achieve? Why, why am I a part of this group? What is something, um, maybe it's a, a previous goal. Maybe it's a goal you had from last year or the year prior and you just haven't completed it yet or you haven't figured out that right recipe, right? Well, hopefully this rule of five will help you out because then you can sit down and say, okay, what did I do last year and what did I do the year prior? Okay, if you have a goal, I just go back to this because I've already used it as a, an example. If you have a goal of losing 10 pounds and that's been the same goal for the past three years and you say, okay, well, last year I did this, this, and this. And the year prior, I did the same few things in an attempt to lose 10 pounds. So you've spent two years doing the same thing, not getting the result you want. Well, now it is time to say, okay, what the hell is going on here? Do I, am I using the right tools? Uh, do I, do I need to, to talk to, um, you know, a, a dietitian or a nutritionist, a personal trainer, maybe I need to see a doctor, um, you know, maybe I just need to try different foods or, or, or something. Um, am I focused enough, right? Am I trying to lose weight and I'm going to the gym or doing physical activity once a week for 30 minutes? Probably not going to help, help you. Uh, again, am I, am I consistent? Am I focused enough? Maybe I, maybe I'm going to the gym six days a week, but I'm eating pizza three of those days and um, I'm just not doing it in the kitchen, <laughs> right? Uh, plan to sit down and just think about what you want, right? Like seriously, if you don't have time, if you don't set aside time for yourself, like you set aside you do all these things and you're busy, busy, busy. But I guarantee you, if you actually sat down and looked at your life, looked at your crazy life on how busy you are, um, you're actually not busy. Most of what you can do, you could do a lot quickly if you actually had direction on what you wanted to do. I guarantee it. Guarantee it. Because once you know what you want, then you're either going to make it happen or you're going to make excuses. And excuses is something that has been, we've been engulfed with, right? So I'm trying to wake you up. I'm trying to like shift your, your mindset here to, for you to realize that that is not, excuses are not, they're not normal, right? They're for average people and you are not an average person. Right? If you wanted to be an average person, you wouldn't have joined this group. Because everyone else who's average, they're sitting there going, huh, goals. Pfft. I don't need goals. What I need is another beer. Right? Like, I'm sorry, but I don't want to be associated with that. And if if that's something you do, then you should probably leave the group. Because like I want to help people. Right? And I'm pretty sure that everyone in this group wants to change for the better or wants to improve themselves and wants to help other people do the same. So, um, you just gotta figure out, okay, 
what are look for role models, right? What what are other people doing that are getting the results that I want? And then just steal their recipe, right? That is the easiest thing, easiest way to uh, have success in anything is find people that are successful in it and copy what they're doing. There's your, there's how to get successful 101. Find a role model and steal what they're doing. <laughs> just copy the recipe, right? Not just like, not go steal, you know what I mean. Um, anyways, I hope the rule of five helps. Uh, this has gone on for a while, much longer than I thought it would, but uh, I just, I can't stress it enough on how important it is for you to know, know what you want or have some idea of what you want and just write it down. And then, uh, you know, next month, maybe it becomes a little more clear, right? And maybe the month after it gets a little more clear after that, maybe a month after, maybe, you know, it's just, it's just, you have an idea, you know, I just want to, I, I, let's say I have an idea. I want to go to Cuba. Okay, cool. Cool. I want to go to Cuba. All right, let's start going that way. All right. Uh, well, we're about in, in Cuba. Okay. Well, I want, I want to, I want a resort on the beach, uh, four star resort on the beach. Okay. Well, that narrows it down to a little, you know, it narrows it down a little bit. Okay. Well, what, which part of the Island, uh, uh, do you want kind of, I guess, the way it is, do you want the west side or the east side? Well, let's go east side. Okay. Uh, maybe there's like two or three resorts there to choose from. Okay, well, uh, I had a friend that went to uh, Veradero. I don't even know if that's on the east side. Maybe it's on the west side. Who knows? But okay, we've picked, we've picked an ultimate destination. It's taken us, you know, four attempts to figure this out, maybe that's four months from now to finally focus in on the destination. Maybe it's a year from now. Maybe it's two years from now, right? But as long as you have a general direction of where you want to go, that's going to be, that's going to help you out so much more than just, you know, going about it willy-nilly and saying, ah, there's stuff I want to do, but I'm just too busy to, to care about them. Right? What? That doesn't make any sense, does it? Right? So really think about what you want and start to bring it to life by writing it down. And if you really want to get ambitious, put it on a mirror or something where you're going to see it every day and then just ingrain it in your brain. Right? Constant repetitions. Be consistent. See it every day focus on it every day and you are going to find all the right tools you need to make that happen because you knew what you want and you were relentless and consistent enough that you kept it in the front of your brain and you stayed with it until you were finished. So that's the rule of five. Uh, hope this helps you out and, uh, Tune in Friday. Friday is going to be um, interesting because uh, I will be doing a live from Michigan and it'll be in the afternoon and I'm not sure if it's going to be at say maybe two or uh, let's say between, between two and three. That's what I'm aiming for um, just depending on when we get done walkthroughs and whatnot. So uh, we will see a Friday. I'll Probably have another post for you before then, but until then, take care, be strong.